The Sephora sale starts on April 5th and I have a hundred product recommendations for you guys. So if you are shopping the sale this month and you want some hot recommendations that are tan girl friendly, then just keep watching. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, Sephora sale is one of my favorite times of the year. I've previously referred to it as my Super Bowl because I enjoy shopping the sale just like everybody else and it's a great time for me to stock up my skincare and also try new brands. So I decided for this Sephora sale I was going to create the ultimate guide to shopping and I have been buying makeup for so long so so long that I've tried a lot of different things at Sephora and I decided to go ahead and look through all the brands that they sell and recommend some products that I think are the best of the best that you should try out. I also included some new products that I'm planning on buying and maybe at the end if this video isn't super long I can share with you guys what's on my Sephora loves list and what's already in my cart. So if you guys are interested in all of that then just keep watching. Okay, so just some general information for you guys. Sephora usually has their VIB sale twice a year. They've been adding all kinds of stuff in between. There's coupons and stuff that'll pop up every once in a while, but they usually have two main sales and basically everything on the website is 20% off and then you can get an additional 30% off Sephora collection during the sale period. So this year it starts on April 5th for Rouge and then VIBs can shop on the 9th and insiders can also start shopping on the 9th. The sale ends on the 15th. So at the time you're seeing this video I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be in New Orleans living my best life so I am pre-filming this but I did try to be as thorough as I could. The code for the discount is yay save. So Y-A-Y-S-A-V-E. I will put up a picture of all of that on the screen just so you guys can see as well. And I'll definitely be posting an affiliate link on my community tab at the time the sale starts. So if you guys want to support my channel, it honestly helps me so, so much if you shop through my affiliate link because I do make a commission on those sales. And if you guys don't want to use my links, that's totally fine. Try and support a YouTuber or a creator that you love by shopping their links. It's totally free if you're going to place an order anyway. I don't want to be on my soapbox for too, too long. But just the other day, I was watching some other creators talk about how people literally will get turned on to a product by a creator and they will go out of their way to avoid shopping through a link. And it was kind of funny how they put it. They were like, well, if you ever decide to, you know, start a business or take on a venture of your own, just don't expect other people to support you. And I thought that was kind of a harsh way to put it, but also a really good way to explain it because, you know, throughout life we want support from other humans, whether it's on our career goals, whether we're just helping our kids sell like freaking Girl Scout cookies, like this is a way that I bring in income for myself, so if you're able to, or if you're able to support any of your favorite creators, highly recommend doing so. Anyway, we have a hundred products to talk about. Actually, I have more than a hundred, you guys know me. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into it. The other thing I wanna let you know is I will have all the information down below. I will also try and put all of the links either in my description box or I will put everything in a pinned comment down below. Now I'm going to put a number next to every product that I mentioned. So if you're shopping, just write down the number and then you can refer back to what product it was I was talking about. Hopefully that makes it a little bit easier for you guys to shop. So yeah, trying something new, trying to be a little bit more organized. So let's see how it goes. I'm gonna go ahead and slide on over so I can put up a picture. I have a lot of these products with me, but honestly, first I was gonna just show you guys a bunch of different recommendations, but then I thought it would be more interesting if I just recommended a number of products to you. So I decided to go with 100. So I don't have 100 products in front of me. I'll put up pictures 
and we'll just get through it. So yeah, those are all the announcements. Let me slide on over. Okay, so I actually have my list in alphabetical order, which is pretty fancy in my opinion. So we're gonna start off with the brand Anastasia Beverly Hills. So their new product that I'm kind of curious about that I maybe will pick up. I don't know, I don't know. I feel like I'm shopping on a bit of a budget this year because I don't have a ton of money to spend and I wanna be really strategic about all the things I purchased during the sale. So they do have a new product coming out, which I feel like now more than ever, there are so many new launches. I don't know if it's just me noticing it more, but I feel like brands are really working hard to get those dollars. So let me know if you feel like there's even more new launches this year than last sales, but their new product is this Beauty Bomb Serum Boosted Skin Tint for $42. I think they have about 18 shades or so. The one thing about this product that has me kind of on the fence is I don't need another skin tint at the moment. And then it also comes in like this deodorant type packaging, which I don't inherently hate, but I also just bought the Ilia Stick Foundation. So I don't really want to have more products that I kind of have to drag on my face. And I didn't really love the last ABH foundation. So I'm not really sure if their complexion products are for me. So definitely weigh in on the comments. Are you picking this one up or is it kind of a pass for you as well? Okay, another ABH recommendation is the Lip Velvet Liquid Lipsticks. They have six colors and this retails for $24. Now I have one shade, I have the shade Parchment and it's a really pretty terracotta nude shade. I thought it was the best shade of the six colors that are available that will work with my skin tone. I never really buy every single shade of a line just because I feel like that's wasteful and I just buy one just to try the formula and then if I really love like it and I want to own more shades I tend to pick up more shades but that's not always the case so that is a nice liquid lipstick if you're looking for one and I also want to recommend the ABH eyeshadow palettes they do have quite a few I did see the soft glam on there they have all of their other newer palettes as well there's like fall romance I think Cosmo they've got one called Nuvo so if you want something that's you know very every day you can check out the OGs like soft glam but some of their newer palettes are absolutely beautiful as well they have some really fun interesting color stories so always recommend an ABH palette if you're on the market for an eyeshadow okay so for brows I will say I have used the ABH brush the number 12 precision brow brush for $18 for years. I'm still one of those like very old school people that love to use brow powder in my eyebrows. So I have naturally pretty good thick brows and then I just fill them in because I love like a very intense brow. So that's the brush I always use to fill in my brows if you're looking for a good recommendation. ABH started off as a brow brand, so they're very well known for having really good brow products. I remember when I first started watching YouTube, that was like all the rage. And then a product that I don't feel like gets a ton of hype, but their Dewy Set Setting Spray is really good as well. It retails for $26. It comes in similar packaging to the MAC Fix Plus, and I like it. I think it's very lovely, so I just wanted to mention it to you guys. Next brand is Armani and their new beauty prism glass hydrating lip glosses for $38 in five shades definitely caught my eye for the sale there's a beautiful orange shade that looks delicious but I recently picked up the milk lip oil I have the blend bunny orange lip oil so I'm trying to talk myself out of it because I don't need it but do these glosses not look incredibly juicy? I'm all about that life. And then I wanna mention the next brand, which is Charlotte Tilbury. So I don't have a ton of Charlotte Tilbury favorites. I will say I do enjoy their Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray for $38. I have been using that in my Shop My Stash and it's very, very nice. So if you're looking for something a little bit more luxurious, check that out. 
And then I also love their matte beauty blush wands. There's four shades of $42. The thing about some of these brands is that you can get better discounts on the brand's actual website. I don't know that Charlotte Tilbury necessarily does a lot more sales than Sephora, but I know Natasha Denona, for instance, always has better deals on her site. So I... I'm trying to keep that in mind when I make my recommendations, but for some of you, you might like the convenience of shopping at Sephora, so there's so many reasons we all shop at Sephora, but just want to mention the Charlotte Tilbury matte blushes because they are super pretty, and then in ninth place is a product that I feel like people used to mention all the time during Sephora sales. This is one that I think I'm going to stock up on. It's the Cinema Secret Makeup Brush Cleaner. I've used it for years, and some people say it's not great to use it on your natural hair brushes, but I use it on my synthetic brushes, especially because I don't always have time to wash them every time between changing of a color. So it's a really handy product and it cleans my brush as well. So highly recommend if you are lazy like me or you just wanna spot clean your brushes, it's an excellent product. We also have number 10, which is the Clarence Cairo Flash Instant Lift Effect and Glow Boosting Face Mask. This is an $80 product. I have been getting Clarence PR and it's been fun because they're not a brand that I would necessarily think of myself, uh, but the Cairo Flash Mask is amazing. It's super cooling and I just love how it leaves my skin. So if you are in the hunt for a bougie mask, I would highly recommend that. And another thing from them is their One Step Gentle Exfoliating Cleanser for $39. So they recently sent this to me as well, and it's super nice. It's not very harsh by any means. So I used to use the Tatcha cleanser. There's an exfoliating cleanser but I decided to wait on purchasing that and use this instead. So very, very pumped to be able to try more things from Clarence. And then we're on to the brand Clean Reserve, which is a fragrance brand. And my absolute favorite fragrance from them is Sparkling Sugar. I just have the travel size, it's $32. But I remember during one of the Sephora sales, so many creators were recommending this fragrance and I was like, okay, I need to smell this because the Clean Reserve brand had never really caught my attention. So I was like, oh, let me go smell it. And it's the most like beautiful, like floral, but like clean, not intense smell. It's just such a great everyday fragrance. So I totally get why it is so hyped by different creators and it was definitely one that I was influenced to buy by watching all of these Sephora recommendation videos. Okay, we're on to number 13 and it is time to talk about Clinique. So I feel like recently one of their most well-known products is their Cheek Pop Blushes. They're $29. They're definitely not as hyped as they used to be, but they are super cute and they have a ton of different shades. They're also really well known for their Take the Day Off Balm, which is $53. It's kind of pricey. I know I've tried it during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty for a lot less. I think I've gotten for half off before. So if you don't want to get it at 20% off, definitely you can wait, but it is a good cleansing balm in my opinion. Number 15 is something I just repurchased. I saw this on sale on Amazon and it was a better deal, but in case you want to try it, the Day Cactus Fruit 3-in-1 Styling Cream is $30. This thing smells freaking amazing and I bought it for myself, but I actually ended up using it on my older daughter. She has very curly hair, so anytime I wanna slick her hair back into a ponytail, it works really well, and I feel like it's not very harsh, so I don't mind using it on her hair, and yeah, it's just delicious. So if you're in the market for a nice styling cream, I highly recommend the Day Styling Cream. 
Okay, next we have from Danessa Myricks. This is another new product. It's her grown work blooming palette for $65. So I don't have the original groundwork. This is palette number two. It's a new product that I kind of have my eye on. Because it's so pricey, I thought I could wait for a sale. But honestly, I don't know if I'm going to buy it. I've seen a few people get this and review it and it seems nice but I don't know I don't know if I can live without shimmer shade so we'll see maybe I'll try it because I want to do it for the science but for now I'm able to say no number 17 is another Dennis Myricks recommendation so you guys know I love blush like I love blush I actually have my shade that I was going to recommend right here so this is the yummy skin blurring balm powder flushed matte color for cheeks and lips from Denisa Myricks. It retails for $25. I have the shade Jubilee and they have quite a few shades. So these are really nice like cream blushes and you guys know I love all blushes. I don't discriminate. I love powder. I love liquid. I like cream blushes and the Denisa Myricks ones are really really nice too. So I wanted to recommend them to you guys. Next brand is Dior. So this is number 18. The Backstage Glow Face Palettes. They come in two shades and they're $48. So I actually have both shades. I will say I don't wear them as much as I probably should considering how pricey they are but this is a fun product to try from Dior so if you had your eye on it now is the time and I also feel like luxury makeup brands are so hard to come by on sale so that's why I think Sephora sale is fun for everyone because you can pick up some luxury brand products during the sale Next is the Dior Rosy Glow Blush, and this comes in six colors, and they are also quite pricey. They're $40. I own the blush in three shades, so I wanted to show them to you. My favorite is definitely Cherry, and these are so pretty, and they're just a matte blush, but just so cool, and I know they're coming out with a new shade, too, that I have my eye on for summer and next brand is Dolce & Gabbana and this is one of my all-time favorite fragrances it's light blue and I believe this is like an all-time best-selling fragrance I think I saw that on like a scent bird or something but me and my mom both wear this fragrance it's like a beautiful clean fresh scent so if you're on the market for a Beautiful fragrance, highly recommend Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. Number 21 is the Dry Bar Shower Cap. Now I've purchased a ton of Dry Bar products. I currently have a Dry Bar Shower Cap and it's just a nice thing to wear. I usually wear it in the shower so that when I'm not washing my hair, my hair doesn't get wet. And I definitely need to purchase one for myself because the one I have currently is getting a little bit gunked up. So that is on my list. And then I also love my Dry Bar Reserve Vibrating Flat Iron. This retails for $1.90. I feel like the Savora sale is another great time to pick up hair tools because they are very pricey. And I had a friend talk about this vibrating hair iron she had. And so I was so curious, so I did end up grabbing it, and I do like it. It vibrates when you are running it through your hair, and the science behind it is that the vibration kind of helps your hair not, like, really tug. So it kind of reduces the tension on your hair, which I think is pretty smart. I have really healthy hair, so... I can only speak for my type of hair, but I just want to recommend some hair products that I've used for years at this point. And then we have the Dry Bar Lemon Puddle Brush, $32. Kind of an insane price because I never thought I would spend $32 on a hairbrush, but I feel like it's something you use every day and that's okay to spend a little bit more on something a little nicer. It's like a nice treat to yourself even, so I really like the Dry Bar Hairbrush. Okay, next expensive hair brand is number 24, so we're going to talk about Dyson. I have quite a few Dyson products. I will say a lot of people talk about the Airwrap, and I definitely started off with the Airwrap, but I don't use it as much anymore. I do love their dryer function though it is really nice in a pinch and when I was writing this list I was like did I really spend $600 on an air wrap <laughs> oh my gosh I feel like that is crazy bananas so anyway I know there's like a shark dupe to the Dyson now I haven't tried it myself I've seen people say that they really enjoy it so 
to each their own, but I've only tried the Dyson stuff, so I'm going to recommend the Dyson stuff. And then my next favorite thing from Dyson is the Dyson Coral Straightener. So this retails for $500, and I use mine constantly because I do like to wear my hair straight quite often. And it's actually sitting here in my makeup room because my favorite thing about it is that it is wireless, so I can just sit here and straighten my hair. I don't need to be hooked up to a freaking power outlet, which is so lovely and yeah I think it's so innovative and then my absolute favorite must-have Dyson product like if I could go back in time and decide what order to buy stuff in I would definitely buy this one first is the air straight and I believe the air straight came out last year and I was going back and forth of like should I get it should I not get it and it is $500 very pricey I'm pretty sure I picked it up during a Sephora sale and honestly I don't regret it at all. It's so great if you are a busy person and you don't have a ton of time. It dries your hair and it straightens it at the same time. I have a lot of clips of me trying it on my Instagram so if you want to see it in action you can go ahead and check out my air wrap or my Dyson highlight. I have a lot of videos of me using it, but it's so convenient, especially where I live. It's super cold here, so it takes forever for my hair to air dry. So if I'm ever in a pinch, I can just use the AirStrade. Highly, highly recommend the product if you have been interested about it. Again, I have pretty long, thick hair, so if you have short hair and stuff, I would recommend finding out from somebody with short hair, if you have thin hair, how it all works for them. But I'm just speaking for myself, 100% worth every freaking penny. Okay, number 29 is Ellis. Brooklyn and I have a lot of fragrances for them but since we're going into spring and summer my favorite fragrance will be florist it's so beautiful another like florally clean smell um so if you want to check it out in the travel size you totally can I have it in the travel size and I think it is absolutely lovely. Next we have Estee Lauder Double Wear. I just wanted to mention this because it is a cult classic foundation. I wore it for years and years and years and it retails for $52. Again, I have seen Double Wear during the Ultra 21 Days of Beauty. So you might be able to score it on a better deal, but in case you've never tried it, I think it is a fabulous foundation such a classic i feel like i just takes me back in time when i think about that foundation and how many times i've used it okay number 31 we're getting into some skincare so we've got the pharmacy green clean one of my favorite cleansing bombs i had it out here to show you guys but then i decided to make a list so i'm gonna put up a picture but i literally used this so many times and now they come in jumbo sizes which is awesome and then my other go-to pharmacy product is the honey halo which is an $80 price tag if you buy the jumbo again worth every penny I am definitely a micro influencer but I do get some skincare sent to me and I'm always looking for the next best moisturizer for my skin and so far nothing has beaten my honey halo I've purchased and pan so many of those freaking jars I'm just waiting for pharmacy to call me so they can add me to their PR list hello but I'm kidding totally kidding totally kidding but yeah nothing beats my honey halo okay now we're on to Fenty number 33 the Fenty gloss bomb cream in all of the shades I have I think I have one shade and I love it it's like the terracotta brown shade these are $22 I am one of the few people on earth that does not like the gloss bomb formula just don't enjoy it so I prefer the cream and it's super nice we also love the Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Blushes from Fenty Beauty. I still remember buying them during the Sephora sale when they initially launched their $26. And I also have a wishlist item from Fenty. This is a new launch as well. It's the Demi Glow Baked Highlighters for $40. There's eight shades of these. These already launched at Ulta, but literally I had a friend DM and say, like, I don't trust Ulta to package these. And I was like, you're so right. And then the listing showed up on Sephora. So I'm like, I might as well wait for the sale. It's so close. I'm not in a big hurry. I'm not going to film anything else anyway. So let me just wait for the sale. But those look 
delicious they look like these beautiful like shimmery cakes and I'm so here for it okay next we have the Fenty skin lip oil so Fenty Skin is listed as a separate brand on the Sephora website and I heard my friend Samantha March rave about this lip oil and I was like whatever they're all the same and I don't even like cherry but I did pick up they had like a little set during the holidays so I got melon and I got cherry and I thought I wouldn't like the cherry because I'm not like a big cherry gal I just don't like how this melon one tastes so I avoid using it I need to put this in my bad bin <laughs> but I love the cherry so I wanted to recommend it to you guys and then we have this is an oldie. This is a throwback. If you guys remember how much the internet loved the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream, I want you guys to comment. That product I feel like I haven't heard people speak about in forever. That used to be my first like high-end moisturizer that I bought from Sephora. So I wanted to give it a little shout out, give it some love because I'm sure there's people out there that would still benefit from this particular product. Okay, so the next brand is number 38 and this is Givenchy. I haven't tried a lot of their products but I wanted to recommend and I actually have it up here. Where did I put it? Oh my goodness. There is so much makeup in front of me but I do have just one of these blushes if I had all the money in the world I would probably own most of the shades but this is the Prisme Libre loose powder blush and this is $45 I have the shade called Flannel Rubis I think it's number six it's the most beautiful red blush without being like super red in your face so I highly recommend my favorite product from Givenchy Okay, number 39 is from Glossier, and I had to recommend the Cloud Paint Gel Cream Blushes. It comes in eight shades for $22. I have most of them. I feel like I bought all the shades that I thought would work with my skin tone. So if you're looking for something a little bit fun, a little bit different, I love the Cloud Paint packaging. Highly recommend you guys check it out. Okay, number 40 is Glow Recipe, and they make some of my favorite products. So starting off with the Strawberry BHA Pore Smooth Blur Drops for $32. I am not a primer gal by any means, but this one definitely made me interested in primers again. I love how my skin looks with this. I think I put it in my Shop My Stash for the month of March, so I've been using it upstairs, but it's a really good primer if you guys are interested. Next is my go-to lip balm. People ask me all the time, like, what's my go-to lip balm? And right now, it's the Plump Plump Hyaluronic and Lip Gloss Balm from Glow Recipe. Retails for $22, and I use it every night on my lips. And another favorite Glow Recipe product, I've literally panned this so many times. It's the Glow Recipe Avocado Fine Line Eye Cream Retinol for $42. I love this product. I need to buy a backup because I'm using my backup right now and it's so, so good. So now we're on to Gucci and that is number 43, Gucci Luminous Matte Blush. And it comes in nine colors and it's $49. When I tell you I take these recommendations seriously, I take these recommendations seriously. This is my hard earned money that I'm holding in my hands. $49, that's 50 bucks a blush, $200 right here in my hands. That's insane. So I just think these blushes are so beautiful. I have one shade that is like one of my favorites. It's a newer shade. I think it's this one. Is this it? Yeah, soft. No, it's not soft red. It's a berry shade. Let me see what it's called. Is it warm berry? No, I think it must be this one then. Intense plum, yeah, look at this. I don't know, something about it, it's so beautiful. These are like weighty little pucks and they definitely feel luxurious. Love me some Gucci Beauty blushes. Okay, next is their Sunkiss Glow Bronzer. I did grab it as well to show you guys. I don't have a ton of luxury bronzer favorites but the Gucci one is so lovely this is in the shade four I wanted to mention the Pat McGrath bronzers too 
but I feel like Pat McGrath is another one of those brands that has better sales on her website. So I would steer you towards the Pat McGrath website, honestly. But I will mention some Pat McGrath when we get to it. Next brand is number 48. It's the Give Dewy Plump Collagen Cheek Tints. This comes in six shades for $26. So this is a new product as well. I have not tried this product. Like I mentioned, I am throwing in a few wish list products as well while we go down this list. So that's on my list of things to check out. Number 46 is one that I'm wearing on my face today. I'm packing this for Crater and Friends. It's the House Labs Blush. I have the shade Fire Rose. Fire, fire mood, fire wood. I can't remember. Oh my gosh, I keep butchering the name of that blush, but it's stunning. Look at it. Will you just look at it? It's so pretty. So they relaunched these in a smaller size. The formula is supposed to be the same, but they added some colors. And I definitely have my eye on one more shade from this line. It's so so pretty. I cannot wait to get my hands on another shade, but love the house blushes. Next, we're on to number 47, which is Hourglass. So I wanted to recommend the Hourglass Airbrush Concealer. 22 colors, $36. Beautiful concealer. Looks amazing on the under eyes. I'm wearing it today. I mixed it with the Makeup Forever Concealer. So yeah, tried to wear as many products as I could that were part of my recommendation. And then a product that I feel like not a ton of people talk about are these Hourglass Phantom Volumizing Glossy Lip Balms. They're 16 colors. They're kind of pricey. They're $36. I did get this in a set. So I got this over the holidays a while ago, but I feel like there's so many brands that are doing this like glossy lipstick formula right so this is hourglasses version and i think they did a stunning job i love how you can just twist these lips up and they're just so easy to apply super beautiful and absolutely glossy love these so so much from hourglass and then i also wanted to mention a bronzer that i love so much this is the hourglass ambient lighting bronzer in the shade radiant bronze light I freaking love this bronzer. It's so beautiful. My face looks absolutely flawless when I apply it and I've made quite the dent in it. So I just wanted to give it a shout out. Great time to pick up Hourglass. I also love the Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. $58 and it comes in 32 colors. I have two shades sitting right here. I have 11 and 12. Again, true to its name, it has a beautiful airbrush finish. So Love, love, love this foundation from Hourglass. Okay, so now that I've written my love letter to Hourglass, we're on to Huda. So this is number 51, the Huda Faux Filler Lip Gloss, $19 in seven colors. So this is a newer to me product and I was hesitant whether I should mention it, but I was so blown away by this gloss. I was not expecting it to be as comfortable and as glossy as I saw it on my lips. I even made a reel about it, I think. It was just so beautiful and juicy. There is at least one other shade I would like to pick up. So I think it's on my shopping list for the sale. But I wanted to mention that it is not as uncomfortable as I thought it was in my head because I thought since it was called faux filler that it was going to be like really like heavy on the lips but it's not it feels almost like a watery formula which I've never really experienced with a lip gloss okay next the easy bake loose baking and setting powder 11 colors for $38 somebody told me that this is the number one selling powder at Sephora now apparently it like beat Laura Mercier out and they've got a bunch of colors for different skin tones. I think I have two or three shades now and it's just nice. It's a great setting powder. It really helps lock in my makeup. I recently picked up Peach Pie in this travel size and it's so handy dandy, like how stinking cute. And then you could just press it on your under eyes and use it all over your face if you want. Number 33 is a product I use every day. I've talked about this so many times in my shop, my stash videos. It's the Faux Filler Under Eye Color Corrector from Huda. So this retails for $30, seven colors. My shade is Mango. I'm wearing it today and I just really enjoy having a color corrector. I have 
pretty dark circles under my eyes so I feel like the color corrector just helps revive my under eyes a little bit when I wear some makeup. Also I have to mention Huda's eyeshadow palettes. Number 54 is her new one that launched this holiday season. It's called the Pretty Grunge Palette. Retails for $69. I think Huda also is a brand that has better sales on her website so you can always check there but the pretty grunge palette is super cute it's like a cool tone palette but it also has some cool tone neutral shades so it's not just like the Natasha Denona Xenon palette like this one has more wearability to it so highly recommend if you've been on the market for some cool tone neutrals and then number 55 is the faux filter waterproof concealer $31 comes in 29 shades. Again, another great concealer. I feel like Huda Beauty just makes some really good like full coverage products and I'm here for it. Okay, next we're on to the Inky List. So their favorite product of mine is the Oat Makeup Removing Cleansing Balm, $13. So if you want to try a cleansing balm, this is a great option. Also, if you have like a teen in your life that wants a good cleansing balm, but you don't want to splurge on the pharmacy, this might be a great option for you. They also have a lot of affordable skincare. I am not a skincare guru. I try from time to time to switch up my skincare, but honestly, I just go back to the same products, which is why I don't test and talk about a lot of skincare on my channel. Number 57 is one that I'm a little bit curious about. It's on my wish list. K18 dry shampoo. Now I recently talked about how I don't usually use dry shampoo because it never really works for me but I've heard really good things about K18 so maybe but it's also like $48 so I might actually skip it but I just wanted to mention now we're on to one of my favorite skincare brands as well Laneige cream skin toner you guys I can't tell you how many bottles of this I've purchased. They finally redid the packaging so they have a jumbo size and they've also made their regular size refillable so we can stop buying all the plastic, which I'm super duper excited about. And yeah, it's just like my favorite skincare product. It's a must have, cannot live without. Okay, number 59 is the Lawless Forget the Filler Gloss. 13 shades for $38 each. Now I have been so lucky as to receive some Lawless PR. They've sent me some. I also purchased my own Forget the Filler. It's a lovely gloss. It's not as shiny as the Huda one I was just talking about, but it definitely gives you a little, little some something. I actually happen to have the shade, what is this one called? Oh my goodness. It's the big giant red one, Cherry Vanilla, and I think it'll go really well with this red lipstick, so let's see here. A very glossy red. Ooh, it burns a little bit because I have a really big chap on my lip like right now. It's not bad though, I will survive. They also started making them in these like jumbo sizes, which is pretty cool. Okay, so number 60 is also something that is on my wish list. It's the LYS Higher Standards Cream Glow Blush Sticks. These are five shades for $20. I think they have more shades on the LYS website, but I'll probably shop on the Sephora website. I'm trying really hard not to buy every new blush that comes out, but you guys, I love eyeshadow and I love blush. Blush is like my next favorite makeup product, so... I could maybe see myself sneaking one of those into my basket during the Sephora sale. We'll see. Have you guys tried them? Let me know. Number 61 is Mason Margell's Replica Jazz Club. I love that fragrance from Replica. It always reminds me of my friend Angie because she recommended the fragrance to me and I love it so much. And then I also love Citrus. So number 62 is their other fragrance that I love which is Under the Lemon Tree. Oh my god, this is like my go-to fragrance during the summertime. I just love it. It's so citrusy. So I'm very excited for summer so I can wear that fragrance. Okay, so we're on to another favorite brand of mine. Number 63 is the Makeup Forever HD Skin Foundation. Comes in 40 colors. It's $47. I'm almost done with mine. I mean, I'm only through my first model. So I think I'm going to be repurchasing that during the sale. But I just packed it to bring to New Orleans because I love it so much. I'm wearing it today. And then I also packed the HD Skin Concealer. 
$29 comes in 20 shades. I just love the coverage it gives me, so I am wearing it today as well. And I also love their Skin Fusing Matte Powder Bronzer. I recently picked it up and I've been talking about it ever since. It's $36 comes in four shades. I am on to Makeup by Mario now. This is number 66 and I love their Soft Glow Highlighter. I have one shade, I think it's called Honey. Super beautiful highlighter, it comes in five colors. $34 if you guys are interested. And then I also love their Moisture Glow Pumping Lip Serums. They have 14 shades now and that is $24. That product was so hype when it first launched and nobody talks about it, but it really started that like whole glossy lipstick, lip gloss, like hybrid prop up trend, I think, for the majority of the market. And yeah, now every brand's doing one and we love them all in my opinion. Next we have from Merit. I really want to try their new matte lipsticks. They come in eight shades and they're $26 a piece. I've heard that these are absolutely lovely, so I'm contemplating it. Do I need another lipstick? Absolutely not, but I'm so curious. Number 69 is Milk's Cloud Glow Priming Foam with Brightening Turmeric for $28. I don't want to always recommend brand new products, but I have been using this for about two weeks now, and I think it's beautiful. It is hydrating. It's not as sticky as the Hydro Grip Primer, but it's really nice, especially for dry skin gals. I love the smell. It smells like summer. It's a really nice primer so far, and I've been enjoying it a lot. And also, as always, I recommend the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Pack that one for New Orleans as well. It's $38. And then another wish list item is the Milk Odyssey Hydrating Lip Oil Gloss for $26. This comes in eight colors as well. I never tried them and I'm a little curious. I've been trying so hard not to buy lip products, but I really enjoy Milk Makeup. They make some really interesting products. So I kind of want to go back and buy that blue shade. We also love the Pore Eclipse Setting Spray from Milk. It retails for $38 and I picked it up during one of the last sales with my own money and I love it so, so much. It is very nice at setting my makeup. Now we're on to Natasha Denona and I have to recommend her eyeshadow palettes. Again, she does have better sales on her website, but if you prefer to shop through Sephora, you can. So I love the I Need a Nude palette. It's a great everyday neutral palette. My recommendation in number 74 is the Mini Dream palette. That is $27. Super, super nice as well. Okay, number 75 is the Natasha Denona Glam Face and Eyeshadow Palettes. $62, they come in two shades. I actually thought these were like gone off the internet, like no longer available, but I saw them on the Sephora website yesterday when I was researching for this video and I was like, perfect, I love those, let's mention them. They come with some eyeshadow as well as two cheek products. And so highly recommend if you're interested, such a great travel palette. Number 76 are the Pat McGrath eyeshadow palettes. She's got quite a few of them. Again, if you're shopping Pat McGrath and you have access to the Pat McGrath website, highly recommend using her site. But if you wanna shop Sephora, you can. This is a great way to get a discount on her stuff. Number 77 is Patrick Ta's blush duos. They come in 12 colors. He recently launched some new shades and I didn't get those ones. I think I might pick up the peachy shade during the sale, but I have every other shade that he's launched before this new launch. So I was a little bummed that I didn't want to splurge and buy the new shades. They just looked a little light. So these are lovely. I really love blush, like I said. These are one of my favorites. Okay, number 78 is the Major Plumping Lip Gloss, and this comes in 10 shades, and they're $26. I have just one shade. I think it's absolutely lovely. They recently also came out with some new shades of the lip gloss, so if you're in the market for a light plumping, like cinnamony gloss, this might be the one for you. And then my last favorite product from Patrick Ta is the Major Brow Lamination Gel. I have one down here, but I cannot find it to save my life, and I've been suffering ever since, which made me realize how much I really enjoy that product compared to all the other brow products I own, so that is a must-have in my makeup collection. Now we're on to the brand Fleur, and they are a fragrance brand. They have gotten very popular recently, I feel like. 
probably popular on TikTok, which is why they keep selling out of things, but their Tangerine Boy fragrance is the most citrusy fragrance that I've ever smelled. I was wearing it the other day when I went to the dentist, and my dental hygienist was like, you smell so good, and I was like, Oh yeah, it's this Tangerine Boy by Fleur. Their fragrances are a little below the luxury price point, so $99 for a full size, and then you can get an additional 20% off. I just wanted to mention it in case you have been eyeing a fragrance from the brand. Then Prada Beauty recently launched on Sephora, and I got a few things. My favorite was probably their matte lipstick. I just got one shade. The lipsticks are quite pricey, they're $50. And this is the shade I have. It's like a really pretty terracotta brown shade. So if you're in the market, again, it's a great time to pick up luxury makeup because I rarely see luxury makeup go on sale. So good time to grab something from Prada Beauty. I'm low-key eyeing their eyeshadow quads. They retail for $80 and I didn't get one when they initially launched. So if I'm feeling like splurging, if somehow... A magical commission check comes in. <laughs> Maybe I'll splurge on a Prada eyeshadow quad. Okay, next is another wish list item. The Rare Beauty Luminous Powder Blushes. $26 in six shades. These launch just before the sale. And I have two shades on my wish list. Sometimes I get Rare Beauty PR. And so I feel like I might get these in PR. I'm going to wait for the sale. If they don't come by the sale, I'll probably grab the two shades I want. But they look so beautiful. She's basically combining her highlighters and her liquid blushes. And they just look so glowy. So I cannot wait to get my hands on them. Next, from Rare Beauty, I do love the Soft Pinch Liquid Blushes. I got so lucky or blessed, and I received every single shade of the liquid blushes from Rare Beauty, and so I'm just a happy camper. I wear these quite often. Whenever I have a shade that works with the makeup look I have on, I'm like, let me go. Let's go. Let's rub this on my face. Okay, next we have the Warm Bushes Effortless Bronzer Stick from Rare Beauty. I wear the shade Always Sunny. This is a great effortless cream bronzer stick. You just go shoop, shoop, and then you blend in, and it looks gorgeous. This is a really nice warm shade for my skin tone, so love it so, so much. And then I have another wish list item. This is from the brand Refi. I really want to try this Lash Sculpt Length and Lift Mascara for $26. It has a really interesting shape to want. I feel like it would make it easy for me to apply mascara, especially on the inner part of my lashes. So maybe I'll pick it up. You guys know I'm a bit of a drugstore mascara girl, but this brush has me very, very curious. Okay, next we are going to talk about Say, and number 87 is the Say Do Blush Blendable Liquid Blushes in 9 colors. I think I have about 4 shades of these. I picked it up during a Say sale that they had. They had like a decent discount on them. So I have the shade Poppy and the shade Spicy. Such great shades. If you know me, these are like my tones. So really love those from Say. If I had to pick like one of my all-time favorite blushes, I would pick these ones from Say. These are the Glow Sculpt Multi-Use Cream Highlighting Blushes. And these are just beyond gorgeous. Like I said, these are my favorite. Like top tier. Like if I lost all my makeup, I would go buy one of these. They're blush highlights huh I can't even describe how just glowy and stunning these are so I just have them in two shades I have peach glow and this one is called quartz glow it looks more like a highlighter on me but oh these are so beautiful I just love how nicely they wear on my face okay next we have number 89 this is from the Sephora collection I actually use this product just now to take off that red lipstick I had on. It's the Sephora Collection Waterproof Eye Makeup Remover. $16, it was showing out of stock when I was looking them up today, but I'm just hoping it's just like a temporary thing. I hope they're not getting rid of it. It's the best waterproof eye makeup remover I've ever used and it's so affordable. So if somebody from Sephora happens to stumble upon this video, you better not discontinue the waterproof makeup remover because it's so good. 
I use it all the time to get mascara off my eyelashes. Okay, next is number 90, Sol de Janeiro SPF body products. So they launched three new SPF body products. This is more like a wish list thing for me. I don't really love Sol de Janeiro as much as a lot of other people do. I don't collect the fragrances or anything like that, but the SPF products did catch my eye. So with summer around the corner, I think I might try one or two things from this collection. Okay, next from Tarte, like I mentioned, this is a part of the list. The Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Vinyls, just the regular lips, the lip plumps and lip plump shifts and the lip balms. I have so many of these, it's actually quite embarrassing how many I have like scattered through my collection, but they're so good and they're so convenient. I love the little clicky pen. So yeah, I'm happy to recommend these to you and I feel like 20% off is a great way to try a few out. They always have sets on the Sephora site as well. Okay, next we're gonna talk about Tatcha. So I have two favorite products from Tatcha. One is the rice wash which is $58, and then the Deep Clean Gentle Exfoliating Cleanser, which is $40. So I already have a backup of the rice wash to replace the one in my shower. And then the exfoliating cleanser, I have that product from Clarins. So I'll probably skip buying the exfoliating cleanser this time around and pick one up during the next Sephora sale. But those are two holy grail items that I keep in my shower and then number 94 is the Urban Decay Vice Lip Bond Glossy Longwear Liquid Lipstick. I think it's 18 shades for $28. I originally tried this product when it launched because I was intrigued but I thought it was awful. I returned it and then I got a few shades in PR and I think they redid the formula because it was way more comfortable than the original so I want to recommend them to you guys in case you had tried them when they launched and you thought they were garbage too. They're a lot better now. And then on my wish list is the new Urban Decay Foundation. I believe it should be out by the time the sale is starting. So I will definitely grab that on sale. I feel like Urban Decay sent me your survey and I was gonna get it in PR. I haven't seen it, so I don't know if I will, but either which way I'm gonna get my hands on this foundation because I am way too intrigued by the claims. It's basically the foundation version of these lipsticks, so I'm super duper excited. Okay, another Urban Decay recommendation. So this is recommendation number 99. It's the Urban Decay Naked Metal Mania Metallic Eyeshadow Palette. It's $50. This one was a launch last year, and I kind of bought it thinking like, Oh yeah, this is probably gonna suck, but I actually thought it was a decent palette. So if you are one of the people shopping for eyeshadow at Sephora. This one is kind of a different color story as well, so it might pique your interest. And then we're on to Valentino, which is number 100. It's the Valentino, very Valentino, 24 hour longwear liquid foundation, 40 colors, $60, so again, a great time to pick up a luxury foundation. I have this foundation. I think it's a nice foundation. I don't know that I would say I wore it for 24 hours, but it's nice. It's a natural finish, and I just really like how it looks, and it smells like a bougie lady, so there's that. Okay, 101 is the Verb Ghost Oil. This is a holy grail item. I've repurchased countless times. I have pretty long, thick hair, and when it air dries, it's like really quite poofy because I do use a clarifying type shampoo on it quite often, and so I love having the ghost oil to smoothen it down. It tames my frizz, but it does not weigh my hair down, so I love it. If you haven't tried it, highly recommend it. It's my favorite hair oil. Okay, next is from Versace. I have to recommend Bright Crystal. I wore this on my wedding day. It's one of my favorite fragrances and they have it in many different sizes. So great way to score it on sale. Next is the Youth of the People Superfood Gentle Antioxidant Cleanser. $68. I have used this cleanser for so long. So it's one of the items I continue to use in my skincare routine. I just use it as my 
morning face wash. So this product just sits on the sink in our master bathroom and I use it religiously every morning to clean my face. So highly recommend the Youth of the People cleanser. It's so good. It's so gentle and it works perfectly for the morning time. Okay, last product. Product 104 is the YSL Love Shine Lip Oil Sticks for $45. These are in 15 shades. So the last item is another wish list item because I'm curious and if it has the word oil in it, it usually catches my eye. I don't think I've ever tried anything like this from YSL. So I'm super duper curious about it. Again, a lot of lip products, even though I'm on my loose lip low buy. I still always feel like a few lip products sneak into my collection. So that was the last thing I wanted to talk about as far as my list goes. So I'm at 104 products now. And let me just take a little gander over to my Sephora cart and see what's in there right now. So I really want to try the Ellis Brooklyn Sun Fragrance Body Mist for $48. I actually smelled this in store and it smelled so good. So I might consider picking that up during the sale. I also want the Laneige Lip Glowy Balm in the new fragrance Sweet Candy. I really like the bombs. So I might grab that. I told you guys about the Dry Bar Shower Cap. I told you guys about the Selena Blushes. And then I'm kind of curious about this. This is the Dior Backstage Eyeshadow Palette. $52 in the shade Smoky Essentials. I kind of like that color story, so I'm a little bit curious about that. So those are some of the things I have in my basket that I might pick up during the sale that I haven't quite decided, but I'm kind of making my cart right now. I also really want to pick up the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Melting Bronzing and Sculpting Stick for $35. I love a cream stick bronzer, so I have my eye on that. I really wish they had this Killian Paris Blue Moon Ginger Dash in a travel size. This is a $245 fragrance, and as much as I want it, I just can't imagine myself spending that kind of money on a fragrance that I've never smelled before, but I'm so curious about it. So if you guys see a travel size of that pop up somewhere, let me know because I want to know what it smells like so badly. Okay, another product that I wanted to try is the Hourglass Shape and Sculpt Lip Liners. They're $29 regularly. I just don't wear a lot of lip liner, like I have a ton, and I don't really like wear them religiously. So I thought maybe I could wait for a sale. We'll see. I might end up getting that. I might not. A lot of fragrances and things like that. I definitely need to do some cleanup of my Sephora list so I can have a better idea of what I'm planning to pick up. But yeah, I think I basically mentioned everything that I wanted. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this style of video. I thought it would be fun to recommend 100 products that you guys might be interested in for the Sephora sale. So like I mentioned at the start, the sale starts on the 5th if you are a Rouge member. And I will link everything in my description box or in a pinned comment with the corresponding number so it makes it easy for you guys to shop in case you're working off of a list or you're adding things to cart. I really, really like it when it's listed because it just like helps me when I'm like looking at a description box. So let me know if that works for you guys. But if you have any recommendations for the sale of something that I should pick up, definitely let me know. You guys obviously can tell I really, really enjoy picking out what I'm going to get. So would love to hear from y'all. And thank you again for using my links to shop. It always helps me out. And happy shopping, happy sale. I will talk to you guys very, very soon. Bye for now.